Welcome to our controller setup video. Today we'll walk through how to set up a six port controller. First, go to the App Store and download the Twinkly app. Once installed, create your account. Before we get started, we like to do a simple bench test. For our setup here, we're gonna start by plugging in the ethernet cables into the router. We'll do it in the order of the controllers, so they're easy to identify and troubleshoot. One goes into one, two goes into two, and so on. Make sure that the green light comes on to show the active port. When we connect the router to the switch, we recommend using the last port available to avoid confusion with the controllers. Connect the other end to your second router, and make sure not to connect into the internet port. All right, everything looks great. We've completed the bench test. Now, we want to bring the controllers online. First, we'll need to log into the router. Once you're connected to Wi-Fi, open up the Twinkly app. Since we're connected to the router, the devices should pop up instantly. These are the devices we'd like to add. Here, we can choose one or several devices. Click Tap on Selected Devices. It should automatically update your firmware once you connect. On this screen, we choose the light style, which is the LED, that we'll be using. In this case, we'll be using RGBW, so we'll select that option. Next is the light count per port. We're doing 250 lights today. Note that on RGBW, we are limited to five ports. And on RGB, we can do all six ports. Hit save on each of the devices, making sure the settings are the same for all. Now we can start using the app. From here, we want to make sure everything is updated. We can also rename the devices in this step. Tap the device icon in the bottom right corner. Then the gear icon to the right of a controller. If you see an exclamation point within a circle on the firmware row, that means your device needs to be updated. Please be sure to keep your devices updated for best results. It only takes about a minute to update. After you've done the update, confirm that your lights are properly set up. Looking here, I can see that Control 2 is set to RGB while the rest are set to RGBW. To change that, hit the gear icon to go back into the device. Tap on Pro Configuration. Here, we can change it back to RGBW. 250 lights, and we'll tap the check mark in the corner to save. Now, since all of our controllers are set to RGBW, we can create a group. Here are the device types and settings that can be grouped together. So to create a group, just click on Create Group. Here are the group types. Join is for a single object linked together. Sync is when all the different objects will move as one. So for example, that rainbow effect would move across the entire display. Scene is for multiple size objects spread out and allows them to trigger at the same time. We'll choose Join and hit Next. Now we can select which controllers we want in the group. We'll select All and hit Create. This warning is to confirm you want to create the new group and erase the previous settings. We'll hit OK. Here we'll name our group Tree. After it compiles, instead of seeing four devices, you'll see one. You always want to make sure you have the green light in the corner that confirms you're ready to go. From here, we can map our lights. Once grouped, we can map our lights by selecting the map icon near the bottom middle right of the screen. Hit Map Lights and 2D. Once all of the lights are visible on screen, tap Map Lights and wait for the completion screen. After the lights are mapped, just one last step to getting everything set up. Go back to your Twinkly app, 
tap the drop down menu found in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Hit settings and tap erase stored movies. You'll get a check mark and now it's time to enjoy the app.